Types of feathers, you know, as cool and fancy as like cool and fabric, but I got to use one of my feathers to pull out a feather and put on that one. So it's all mine. Joanne also has a spring that she has put in the web. The leather for wrapping. Like a mat, so just a quick drag across it. Like I said, you just want to use about a 20 degree drag angle. You just want to kind of really see the rod in there. I know it's really hard to see. I tried to get some helmets, but I wasn't able to today. So I'm just going to. Now I will demonstrate how to take the blood pressure. So I would pump it all the, once the bulb is tight, pump it all the way up to about 160 because normal blood pressure has a systolic of 120 over. I normally use silk milk for all of my smoothies. So one cup of milk, two cups of strawberries, And a half a cup of yogurt. I just dip it in, doesn't matter because it's all going at the same place. So a half a cup of yogurt. This is delicious. I'll probably eat it going home in the car. <laughs> and then I'm also going to use half a cup of orange juice. I get out to work. And then one tablespoon. Do not confuse with the teaspoon. Teaspoon then is T S P. Tablespoon is T B S. Okay? So you can put in two to three tablespoons of honey. I only use two. Honey is good on toast as well. Oatmeals. Grits. I don't know if anybody knows what grits are. The acronym is girls raised in the South. <laughs> And then you pinch it together. And these are very strong springs. So it's kind of hard to do. When you then you flip this latch over and there's a little notch on it so that this rod will stick to it. But if you do it the wrong way, the trap will just close. So when you have this latch on there and everything's locked up tight, you go find your molehill and you dig into it and you find generally where the tunnels are going inside of it. And then you want to set it down, take out the latches. Pretzel sticks, a pot, spoon, bowl, and wax paper. And a microwave or something that will heat the chocolate. Now that we've collected So with the magic of TV, of course, or just in this case, the class, we're going to just, I'm just going to have Jeanette, my lovely assistant here, 
uh, take it to the microwave in one minute and it should be finished. But um, I would like to say that so as I began speaking to both ladies, they began signing and that took me back. I thought to myself, okay, if they're deaf, so and how am I going to communicate with them? Well, the first thing I thought to do was to lip what I was trying to say. So I began talking to both of the ladies, um, lipping, this is an all men shelter. Both women looked at me like, flower as you go and you walk together so it doesn't become sticky like batter, but it becomes more of a middle light. And then when you have that, you use a skillet or some sort of cooking sheet and place it over the stove on a medium, medium high setting. And after the our individual balls of dough, usually about a good hand size, it's not any bigger than that. We roll it out to around pancake size, which is a little bit bigger than pancake. Sorry, I'm not a big pancake size, but it usually comes out something like this size. And after you do that, you sell it on the skillet like that. It would probably break, but don't do that. Lay it gently down. Use some sort of spatula or something to flip it. Usually takes around anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute and a half, depending on how hot the stove is and how recently you put it on the skillet when heating up the stove. After you flip it on both sides, it should you know become like a golden brown type deal. In other countries, I read in the, the uh, Los Angeles Times that they can throw in other ingredients such as corn and seafood, cheeses, and sometimes they even use water instead of milk. I don't know how that would taste, but hey, it's other countries. And now we are on to the final product. The final product. It should look something like this. It has more of a flowery look to it, you know, it has like powdery texture, some sort on the outside, and it's pretty decent size. Usually in other countries, uh, they're usually like three to five inches, and I believe that's more around six, seven. That's my family. So we go big or go home. Pretty decent size man. So you want the food there. <laughs> and, uh, the final product is that it goes better warmed up and I will hand out samples here shortly. Grab a napkin. Okay, we'll 